So we're in the car park now, free parking. You've got toilets in front of you. We go out the car park and turn right, walking forward with the caravan park on our right hand side. So we just keep following the road past the tiny well. We're looking for a left turn. Just keep heading forward past the farm. That's the house on our right. Opposite there, there's a T-junction. We turn left. Signpost says Pennine Way. Hike up Nick, three and a half mile. That's where we're going. Turning left. So we're heading forward up the tarmac track. That's the view to our left hand side. Well, it's 11 o'clock in the morning and it's pretty warm as you can see, these cows are resting there, look. That's looking left. We just keep heading forwards. That's looking left. This is another new walk for us, so we don't know what to expect. That house or farm is on our left. At the end of the tarmac track, we go through the gate and bear off to your right. You're walking with a taxi driver today. Dufton, in Cumbria, up the gravel track. We head forward up the track. That's looking left. And again, that's looking to our right. Yeah, it's just a steady climb uphill. That's a track that leads off to our right. You can see the sheep keeping at the side of the wall out the sunshine. It's a warm day today, but it's beautiful. We just keep heading uphill and there's the rest of the valley. That's another shot to our right hand side. And then we go through the gate. The track's still going uphill, quite steep. Yeah, we can see some people coming down there, look. As we head forward, the track bears off to our right. We keep going. That's a quick shot looking back. We turn back round and keep heading forwards now. Yeah, this is just a steady old climb. That's looking to our left as we head forwards. That's our left again. We just keep heading forward at the wall through the gates on our right hand side. And at the end of the enclosure we go through a second gate heading forwards uphill towards where them people are towards a big cairn as you walk through the gate you'll see an old lime kiln on your left hand side and you have two lots of people there one on the skyline just going over the top Jadis says this is 1936 feet and uh, you know just just a fair odd walk on a day like today but we're enjoying it we keep going yeah, we're getting there now 10 or 15 minutes we should start to level out a bit but it's just a good old climb is this and well we're at the brow I said it'd level out but uh, it keeps going uphill and as we get higher we're starting to see the other side as you can see we're not near the top yet but uh, we're getting there slowly well there's the view just a tiny bit cloudy we've had brilliant sunshine all day we just keep heading forwards that's where we're going just 
over the top. And that's a shot of the valley bottom. We're going to that end somewhere, look. And as we head forward, we pass a tiny waterfall on our left hand side. I'm just slightly off the path at the moment so I can get a shot of this little waterfall there, look. Well, it's two o'clock. We've just stopped for a cup of tea. We're moving again now towards Hike Up Nick. That's looking to our left hand side and that must be three or four hundred feet up there. The rocks look loose but I don't think they are. But we're going to keep going. We think the path down is on our left hand side as we face it. So it'll be on our right as we go down but until we get to the end and have a proper look we won't know because this is a new walk and that's just pretty steep is that? Here we are, we're at Hike Up Nick now. We just have to find our way down. That's just a fair old drop. That's where we're going down the valley. As soon as we find the way down, there's the other side. Yeah, we're still looking. Just admit it's a lot steeper than we thought it'd be. So we head forward to the tiny stream and that's the way we're going to go following the stream into the valley bottom. Well, here we go, straight over the edge. Hopefully there's a path. We'll soon find out. Yeah, we're steadily picking our way through the rocks. That's looking right. We've gone from left to right across the front and then we're going to bear off down but this isn't a path for the uh, faint-hearted if you're not sure or you don't feel safe don't come this way but uh, we'll get down to the bottom we're only going steady that's took us 10 minutes to drop I don't know 100 feet but we've been on the safe side it's a bit of a dodgy dodgy route but we think we're over the worst of it we keep going for now. There's the bottom, but we're only going steady. Yeah, we're getting there. That's looking left. And that's looking to our right. We're heading down the valley now. We can see a faint path on the left-hand side of the stream. That's looking back, but as you can see, you're having to watch every step as you walk through the rocks. But we're down. We turn back round now and keep going. We can see a couple of people up on the rim, on the skyline, we're down in the valley bottom. We came across that top to get to hike up Nick though. We've just seen a bird of prey go down there. I'll just leave camera on, see if he comes up. Yeah, there he is, just above the rim. We're too far away to make that out. Boom, he's gone down again. Well, we'll leave that for now. It's knocking on. We've got a, still a bit to do yet. So as we've dropped down further, the little stream suddenly appeared out the ground. When we look, there's quite a flow on this little stream here. To say we've had no rain for a while. This is all spring water. We've just seen half a dozen fish, maybe three or four inch long, maybe five inch. If we go back a hundred yards, there's nothing. As we head forward another hundred yards, you can see how fast the stream's flowing. But just in front, it's bone dry just disappeared into the ground. We head forward 100 yards, the streams reappeared. On our left hand side we've got the stile. We cross over and head forward. 
with the wall on our right hand side. We just keep heading forward towards the end of the valley. That's looking left. As we head forward, the path appears again. Mother and daughter there, look what the picture taking. We'll soon be at the end of the valley. And as we head forward, we go by that tiny pond in front. That's just to the other side of the tiny stream. And if we look at the hill on our right, you can see on the left hand side, the bin quarrying or mine in there, look. As you get to the pond, walk forward a couple hundred yards. Down below, you'll see the track and a farm. As we head towards the farm, that's looking to our left. And that's looking back. We turn back round and keep heading forwards now. We're just at the corner of the farm now. We go through the farm and bear off to our right down the track. At the road, we turn right. It looks a very quiet road, does this one. We're heading towards Dufton now, maybe a mile. On our right hand side, we've got a house there, look. Just going down the road, we see a snipe in, in the field. Just been freshly cut, look. Well, that's a great shot, is that? Oh, he's stopping, he's stopping in range as well. You can see the sky's getting a bit heavy now. It's one or two black clouds. Yeah, there's some lovely houses just set back in the hillside. We're still on the road. Yeah, another one there. Beautiful. That's on our right again. We keep going. That's looking to our right. Cows come to see us here. Cow came running up there. I was following us, or is he a little bull? He's followed us all the way down the field as we walk down the road. When we move, he moves. When we stop, he stops. At the T-junction, we turn right and that'll take us back to the car park. We hope you've enjoyed our walk from Dufton up to High Cup Nick. You've been walking with the taxi driver today.